What's up guys, how's it going? Thanks for joining me today. Today we're not gonna talk about any cars, we're gonna talk about some trucks. And then after that we're gonna get some coffee and some shit. I like to watch baseball. Have no idea what the hell I was just doing. We were just making fun of funny accents in the kitchen, so I might as well bring it over here. When I say funny, no offense, I think you guys in the East Coast have sick ass accents. And that was my ill attempt of making a sick ass accent for you yeah, Californians over on this side. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but today, seriously, we're gonna talk about some trucks. We have not done any truck videos on this channel. So, without further ado, let's get rolling. First video, not gonna even say anything, just freaking watch it. <laughs> Holy crap, that truck, it's ass went up there. It was like a cat stretching. Cameraman laughs. <laughs> awesome. Biggest difference between car guys and truck guys after one video, making a complete generalization here. Car guys would have freaked the F out if this happened to them. Oh my God. What do I do? I'm gonna call my dad. Tow trucks get called, cops show up. But when truck guys do this, <laughs> they just laugh it off, hook it back on and keep on going. I would like a truck. Next video. Okay, I'm gonna roll the first few seconds of this clip. You tell me what you see. Water. Two guys in the water together. Presumably shirtless. What could be going on and why am I showing you this? Well, let's continue watching this segment. Oh, super dude. <laughs> That's a high dollar truck. The fuck? There is a truck in the water. Submarining. Submerged. How? That's why it ain't spinning. Look at the moon going up there. It's his truck. Hey, I think it has the same swim trunks. Now, I don't know what happened in this one and I'm not gonna do any research at all. I'm just gonna give you my perspective on what may have happened. One, brakes fail with boat attached. Car goes backwards and then submerge. Okay, that's my first theory. Second is, well, somebody didn't set the brakes down correctly. In their defense, I used to boat, wakeboard, and do all the fun water sports. And I know when launching a boat, especially if you're new, it's a little intimidating. And they must have forgotten to place the brakes on when the boat was still attached. Hence, gravity versus truck, truck, loses. Water slaps you in the face and goes, your brand new beautiful truck, worthless. I definitely feel for these guys. I've seen it almost happen one time in person and it was kind of embarrassing for him. Yeah. Let's lighten the mood up a little bit. Some of you guys are not from America. So some of you may not understand this part of America. I am from California and I've been around the US. I'm gonna admit, I don't understand this either but the dam looks freaking fun. And this kind of gives you a little insight on how the wilderness of America still is. Let's roll this one. I feel like I need a beer. Let me go grab one. Tell me that doesn't look fun. We're in the wilderness right now. And well, I couldn't find any Budweiser to hold, so I'm just gonna hold the Sailor Jerry. And you have a lot of mud and big ass trucks. You're surrounded by Bobby, Billy Joe, Bobby Joe, Austin and Casey. And don't forget Sean Michael Michaels. I got two first names. You see a huge platform of just mud, kind of an abyss. You got some big ass monster truck tires. What do you do? America calls you. Naturally, you drive your truck right through it, right? Let's see what happens. Oh. 
The guy in the truck is stuck in the mud. In the American spirit of helping each other no matter what, Billy Bob, Bobby Joe, and Shawn Michael Michaels, don't forget Casey and Austin, help him try to get him out of there. What do you think they are all thinking? I mean, it looks like they're having a good time with their big monster truck tires. I'm happier than a tornado in a trailer park. So Bobby Joe comes over to Billy Bob to help pull out Austin. When that failed, Shawn Michael Michaels went and pulled Bob, Billy Bob and Bobby Joe to help pull Austin out. By the way, they're all cousins. I'm making all this shit up right now. So what do they do? Think harder, not smarter, young kids. And stay in school, say no to drugs, and stay away from Instagram, because that's the devil. Smart guys, huh? Pulls him from the back. Like when you're wrestling a hog down with his tail. I'm not gonna lie, that looks like a crazy amount of fun. I wish I was there with him. My Subaru would not even touch that mud. Billy Bob, Bobby Joe, and Austin. Uh, Shawn Michael Michaels. Probably see you guys. Moving on, let's have an open conversation. You and I have the pretty much same interest. I have a Subaru, you guys like Subarus, that's kind of how you found my channel. I like GTRs, you like GTRs. Where I'm getting at is we both have knowledge of a few things that are common. We know when people wanna race their cars, they tend to go to autocross or drag strips or the freaking street or somewhere behind the warehouse. But when I did some research on trucks and what they do for fun, <laughs> Mind blown. The more you know, I found out they have truck pooling contest something. I don't know the legal name for it. They pretty much take their truck, strap it on this huge freaking transformer looking rig, drag it down to see how far and fast it can get. And a lot of people watch these trucks drag shit behind them. I didn't know this existed. Let's watch it. <laughs> know this existed did you people get super excited and it's like watching nascar you don't want to watch them go around in circles you're more of there to drink get stupid get really dark and watch crashes so I have a feeling this is like the same nascar crowd off season and the crowd goes freaking wild when something breaks. I'd like to hang out with them, drink, hang out in the sun, scream at trucks and watching shit break. That's like a weekend with me and Henry trying to build something or work on my car. And a side note from them truck guys, them clouds though, humongous cloud. The only way I would ever be able to produce the same amount of freaking cloud and smoke for my exhaust, two ways, blow it up like other videos or dump sea foam into my car. I gotta say, these truck guys, or you truck guys, looks like you guys have a lot of fun. A lot more relaxing, a lot more fun, and it's a family friend event. I see you guys bring your kids, and you guys watch them truck, teach the kids how to change crankshafts, drink Budweiser, look at bald eagles in the sky. Truck guys, props to you. Adopt me if you could. But guys, thanks for your suggestion for this week's video. You guys want me to do some trucks? If you guys have any other suggestions, leave in the comments below and also like the video. That way we can share it to the world. And I can continue making these videos for you guys. 
without much more talking, thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, check me out on Instagram, Snapchat, SmartFromWX. And also, my print shop is fully operational. IndustryPrintLive.com. Thanks, guys. Punch in the face. <laughs>